Good day everyone and welcome to this Stamina Nightblade PvP build for the Blackwood patch. It's going to be a little bit more of an unusual build to what you usually see on YouTube because Stamina Nightblades they often run uh, two HM bow setups uh, with the classic uh, in cap and relentless focus burst. Bu burst. Um, but this is going to be a slightly different build. This is going to be a double bow um, setup that I've been having a lot of fun with uh, the past week and that I want to share with you guys now in both uh, in the build and the gameplay section of this video. Um, just a quick disclaimer, I do think that the burst potential of this build is not as high as what you can get with the 2HM bow setup, but the damage is more reliable, um, it's very mobile, very uh, fast, and it's generally just a lot of fun to play for me. I was quite surprised by it as well, because I, I didn't think I would be able to even play what you could call a bow tart, um, but I have had quite a bit of fun with it, so I want to share it. And uh, I will get into the build uh, with that being said. So the sets I'll be running is, uh, I'll start with the bows, which is the most important part. The Black Rose Bow and the uh, Asylum's Bow. Um, on the back bar here I have the Black Rose Bow. This is going to give a really strong dot on the enemy when you cast a uh, scatter shot or the specific morph being Magnum Shot. 65% uh, of the initial damage will be in poison damage. And this Black Rose Bow will get buffed, uh, the, the, the Magnum Shot will get buffed by the other sets as well. And this will get a lot of pressure on the enemy when you open up with it, especially if on top of that also your damage health poison here is going to proc. On the front bar I have the Asylum's Perfected Bow, this is going to give a lot of penetration uh, against the enemies you will hit with uh, Bombard. That means that if you're in a solo setting and you hit a lot of enemies with this, um, every one of those is going to take a lot more damage from all your bow attacks, and that is basically most of the damage that this build will do. It is all bow attacks. Um, and just now that I'm going in this uh, situation as well as a solo player against multiple people, just to be clear, this is the, the goal of this build is intended to be a 1vx build or whatever you want to do with it. It's not a ganking build because often when people run snipe or something on standard library it's going to be for ganking, but this is more just a, an open world build that has burst but it also has pressure and it has good defense uh, with its mobility. And speaking of that defense, so next to this Asylum's Bow, we also have uh, Gaze of Cities. It's, I think, pretty much a must-have mythic for any uh, standard Nightblade these days, because the amount of defense this adds is insane, and it's going to boost your survivability by a lot. Then one piece craft for the penetration, and then the five piece set will be uh, Marksman. This will be the best, uh, I think, overall set. 5p uh, set for a bow build like this. It's going to give you both sustain, which is quite important because this build can demand quite a lot of that, but it will also increase your damage pretty significantly. Um, other options here are things like Morak Tong or Arches Mind, but when comparing with those other sets, Marksman comes out on top. Then the last set to finish this off with is a 3 piece agility on the jewelry. Um, and then for the traits on the jewelry, this is uh, ideally three bloodthirsty. I still have one rope burst, but bloodthirsty is the best uh, trait to go with here. Um, and then on the marksman, I have uh, four impenetrable and uh, three well fitted. I still have some uh, traits here that are not yet matching. That is because I've only recently picked up this build and just you know, threw it together to try it. Um, then for the enchant, this is going to be a uh, full stamina except one uh, triglyph. On the uh, jewelry, this is going to be full weapon damage. On the uh, insane's bow, is going to be a uh, restore stamina enchant in case you want to have a bit more stamina sustain, or a uh, weapon damage enchant in case you want to put, push, boost your damage a little bit more. And then on the back bow, you have that poison. The traits on the bow bar are uh, sharpened on the back bar to make that uh, magnum shot hit quite hard and on the front bar uh, precise because much of this burst you will deal with this build will depend on whether you crit or not so having a high crit chance will matter. Um, having this precise in combination with the night blaze crit passives, uh, medium armor, the descent points etc will bring your weapon critical when it's buffed to around over 60%. Uh, so now for the skills, uh, on the back bar of course there will be um, deadly uh, magnum shot that is, uh, for the black crossbow, and then the classic uh, cloak, uh, leeching strikes, vigor, and here race against time, this is because it's going to further boost your critical damage and give you that much needed mobility. 
Shuffle is also an option if you want to have more defense, but I find with Gaze of Cities uh, you can survive having Gaze of Time instead, and Gaze of Time is going to amplify your burst quite nicely. Uh, your back bar ult will be undo. Then on the front bar, focused aim, bombard, reaper's mark, relentless focus, shade, and the bow ultimate, toxic barrage. This is uh, going to be an extremely high amount of pressure, so uh, especially if you have that um, Asylum Bow debuff with like 6.6k penetration in combination with the dot from Magnum Shot and possibly also double dot poison, it's going to be very hard for your enemy to survive the damage that this ult will deal. Reaper's Mark is going to increase your penetration even further beyond what the Bombard is going to do. Um, and this is going to give that build a lot of penetration on top of the damage that the sets and the enchants and the weapon damage is going to give you. Uh, focused aim here, this is basically uh, to a bit of a burst ability for this build. Um, it will give even more penetration on top of the previous two, so you see where I'm going with this. Um, and then to open up with an enemy, uh, often I will like make sure they have that uh, Black Rose dot on them with the double dot poison possibly. And then I'll open up with one or two focused aims, ideally this is from uh, Sneak with Shadowy Disguise, then followed up with a Bombard. And basically the combination of focused aim and Bombard will be your burst. Possibly you can also follow, follow this up with a Toxic Barrage afterwards. Uh, Shade is a much needed mobility skill as well, next to Cloak and Trace for against Time you will need this. Relentless Focus, if it is up, will be additional burst. You can follow that um, up after you have cast a Focused Aim. And Reaper's Mark, yeah, again, you cast that at the start uh, to make sure it's on the enemy you'll be attacking. Then for the Champion Points, in the blue tree I will have Resilience, uh, because quite a bit of my gear is in well fitted. Uh, in order to boost that needed stamina Sustain, I want to have Resilience to survive bursts from enemy groups. Duelist rebuff, same story here, you need it to, to survive all the incoming damage. And then 2 damage CP being Master at Arms and Deadly Aim. You can slot out more of the blue CP for damage CPs if you want, it's a bit of a trade if you have to make in terms of resistance versus damage output. Uh, then for the red tree I have uh, Survival Instincts, Slippery, Rejuvenation and Juggernaut. And the roleplay tree I have Steed Blessing, Rationer, Gifted Rider and Warmount. Then uh, a little bit of side information that I didn't mention yet, uh, some more general information about the build. So the uh, potions will be uh, the weapon damage potions because this build needs a high amount of crit, it gives major savagery, it needs major brutality of course, which you don't have in terms of any skills, so the poisons will, potion will give that as well. And then stamina for the stamp sustain. The food will be a tame takeaway buff. Uh, this will give much of the necessary stats of course for a blade. In case you need more magical sustain in order to cast more cloak or shade and uh, race against time, which can sometimes be difficult to um, yeah, to have magical sustain for that. You want to use Ozorga Smoke Bear Horns, which basically uh, changes the stamina from Artem's takeaway prof to magical regeneration, and this will bring it up to like 1.2k almost, which is very nice to have. Uh, then for the uh, Mundus, you'll want to use the Serpent. Vampire Stage 3 is a given for any stamina nightblade, so here it is also important to have that. Uh, and with this, you can also see the stats real quick. Uh, unbuffed of course. But that's it for the build, now we'll have some gameplay. Um, I do have to tell you that I do make some errors in that gameplay because I've only recently started at uh, playing this kind of build. But it's been a lot of fun and hopefully maybe some other people will pick it up as well and have fun with it too. So I thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.